I always find it easier with these questions just to do a simple sum first. So I'm going to do 2 times 3 equals 6. And I'm going to think how I can rewrite this. Well, I can put the 6 here, divide it by the 2, and that gets me the 3. So it's just a matter of moving the answer to the start and picking one of these guys to divide it by, and then we get the other one. In this question we have exactly the same thing. So what I like to do first of all is just rearrange the fact that I'm given. So I'm going to put the 2, 3, 7, 6 first. Then we're going to divide by the 99. And I know that that will get me 24 if I did that. Now we've got to think about what we're doing um, in the actual question that it's given us. Well, we've times the top by a thousand and we've times the bottom by a hundred. Now when we times the top by a thousand it will make the answer a thousand times bigger but when you're dividing it's basically the same as a fraction. Whenever you times the bottom by a hundred say which we have in this question it actually makes the answer a hundred times smaller. So we're making it a thousand times bigger and then a hundred times smaller. So what are we doing uh, in total? So one way of doing this is just to split that thousand up by times 10 times 10 times 10 and a hundred times 10 times 10. So this times 10 will cancel, this times 10 will cancel and we're just left with a answer that is 10 times bigger. So we've got the answer of 24 with a zero on the end of it. Now what might be easier is to think of that in terms of divided by 10. When it's at the bottom of a fraction or you're dividing it by the number it just becomes a divide by 10. So the answer is 240.